Hey everyone, it's... Why'd you already laugh? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, stop laughing. Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline and welcome back to Vidmas. So today is a very special video because I have the woman who gave birth to me. My mother. Hi. <laughs> this is Tracy. Um, so today I thought we would do a makeup look. Um, well, my mom's like, oh, we should do a mature makeup look. I think she really just wanted me to do her makeup. Of um, course. <laughs> but I don't really know what to call this because you're definitely not like mature. You're, I'd say old lady makeup. Well, she, older ladies makeup. Yes. She's like 47, but she has the skin of like a 30 year old. So I feel like I can't call this mature makeup because it's just well, ma ma mom makeup. Mom makeup. Mom, busy, boss lady makeup. Like, no, I'm not a boss lady. But mom, <laughs> no. Uh, how about mom makeup, makeup for women in their 40s? Thanks for the title. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's just hop into the tutorial. Okay, so to start off the skin, I really want to make sure that the skin is nice and moisturized. Actually, you should tuck your hair back so I don't yeah. get makeup in your hair. Yeah. Um, I really want. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, I really want to make sure that the skin is nice and moisturized. So I'm gonna use one of my favorite, like buttery, luxurious moisturizers. This is Skin Shangri La. Have I used this one before? Yes, yeah. I love it. Um, anyways, you can mix this in with a nice, like, hydrating primer if you'd like. My favorite one that I would recommend um, for more mature skin would probably be Hourglass. I feel bad saying mature skin because, like, you, you literally are not. Well, it is mature skin. Okay, whatever. It's okay. I own it. It's good. Mom, your skin. <laughs> I wish. Good. I hope I get your jeans, like, when I'm older because, like, look at this. It's like, you have better skin than me. Um, anyway, so I'm not going to do the primer today, but if you do want to opt for a primer, I probably would recommend this one. This is my favorite one, um, especially for maybe a bit more dehydrated skin. But I'm going to use Skin Shangri-La as a base. It is beautiful. So a little of this stuff really does go a long way. Do you feel revived? That feels very nice. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm a huge believer in really like investing time into the prep. So I really like to focus on skincare and um, like moisturizing like lip balms and eye creams, things like that. I'm just going to pop this um, lip balm on you. This is the Glossier CoconutBalm.com, which is like one of my all-time favorites. So actually I'm going to put this on your finger. You can just pop that on. Yeah. So this is really just gonna prep the lips and get it ready for the lipstick um, that we're gonna do later. So I know a big question that I get asked a lot, um, especially as you age, like should you be wearing foundation, tinted moisturizer? Um, I know I got you on this hype. You love mm -hmm. this, right? I love that. This is a Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. Um, today I wanna go for something a bit more full coverage, so I'm gonna mix um, a foundation and a tinted moisturizer together. For every day though, I think tinted moisturizer is perfect. Mm -hmm. um, this also has SPF, so that's really awesome. But anything that's really moisturizing, I think is gonna look really nice on the skin. So I'm just going to take a nice dollop of that and some foundation. Now the makeup look that I'm going to go for, it's not necessarily going to be like a quick five minute face get out the door. This is going to be when you want to kind of glam up your face a bit more, your makeup going out or there's a special occasion. I mean it's not going to be a full heavy makeup or anything like that, but this definitely isn't like you're a busy woman, you got three minutes to do your makeup and get out the door. I think a lot of the times too with makeup, it's not even necessarily the products, but it's the time you invest to like really apply it and um, the techniques you use. Which I think is your biggest issue doing makeup. I was gonna say, I don't have any technique and I use my fingers, I don't use brushes. Honestly, using your fingers is okay. Um, certain times it's nice to kind of warm it up, but I do love me a good brush. Today I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender on you. Have I ever used this on you before? You have never used it on me. I've never used one. This really does just give like a flawless application. Since I did mix in the tinted moisturizer with the foundation, it gives you a bit of like a lighter application and then you get a bit of like a luminosity to it. Like I'm sure you can see the light is hitting her cheekbone and just giving like the most beautiful glow. So do you find like the way you wear your makeup is a lot different like as you get older or? Um, I probably take more time because of you because you've taught me to. I, as a kid I only wore mascara lip gloss, which I still wear lip gloss. Um, you still wear mascara too. No, and mascara. Oh. Yeah, no, no, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, actually, I, I probably, but I used to wear a really bad, like, eyeshadow and eyeliner as a kid. Wait, you used to always do, like, the harsh, like, black, did Yeah, you? and, like, purples and blues and stuff like that, because that was what was in style back then. But, um, yeah, no. As much, I like it more natural, for sure. I'm going to bring a little bit of this color down the neck as well, just to make sure everything blends nicely. Then for a bit of under eye concealer, I'm going to use this Clarins Instant Light Concealer. It's really nice because it does have more of like a pinky kind of salmon-y undertone, so it's really good for cancelling out any darkness. I mean, you don't really have um, too much discoloration, but it really just does kind of bring the area up. So I'm just going to take that product and warm it up in the back of my hand and eyes up. And I'm actually going to bring it kind of down in an upside down triangle. I find this is really good for really like lifting the face. Um, not that you need that, but... <laughs> <laughs> that sounded bad. I feel bad like talking through it. 
<laughs> it's just, it's really nice because it really does instantly kind of lift everything up. No, but um, we need that at our age. And I really like to make sure that I get it in like the inner corner at the side of the bridge of the nose because I find that place holds a bit of darkness as well. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go in with an eye base. I took this from your collection, so I know you love it. Why do you like it so much? Uh, I love color, I love coverage, and it's easy to put on. And it doesn't look, you don't see creases. Yeah, so Does basically, I put a little bit of this all over the lid, and it just kind of cancels out any veininess, and it gives you like a really nice, um, even base to start with. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned the name. This is um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Next up, I'm going to go in with your favorite concealer. This is the Hourglass mm -hmm. one. You like to use this under your eyes, though, don't you? I do. Cause, well, because I have that, when like you said about those dark, you know, mm -hmm. um, the darkness inside, that's where I always feel. So I put that under there. I don't know if I should, but that's where I use it. See, I normally don't like... And for pimples. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah. I normally don't like stick concealers for under the eyes just because I find they pull, they're a bit thick. Um, but for spot concealer or for any areas that you need a bit more coverage if there's a bit of like redness peeking through, like there's a bit on your nose here yeah. and on your chin. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to use that to kind of spot conceal in those areas. Yeah. And then again, just taking the uh, sponge and just kind of blending everything out. Okay, next up is powder. Now I know a lot of questions people ask is like, should I use cream products or powders, um, especially as the skin gets a bit older and like gets more dehydrated. Because mm -hmm. um, sometimes if you put a lot of powders on, it can kind of like cake up and look really dry and just accentuate any lines or any fine like bits of texture. Um, so I'm going to use a little bit of this, but this is actually an illuminating powder. It's from Hourglass. This one is in the shade Dim Light, but they do a, different, um, a couple different colors. So I'm just going to lightly, uh, eyes up, I'm just going to lightly set under the eyes just to make sure that none of the product actually moves. But I'm going to be very sparing with um, the amount of powder that I apply. So I'm just going to go slightly over the nose as well just to kind of take away the shine. But again, using a very light hand. Okay, next up, I'm going to go in with a cream bronzer. Now, I'm going to basically apply this to the areas that I didn't set. So, I'm going to go around like the hairline, around the cheek, just to kind of warm it up and give a bit of definition. But we're definitely not going to do any contouring or anything like that because contouring can actually age you, like if you um, mm -hmm. put too much on. So, do, we're just going to avoid that. that. <laughs> so, on a stippling brush, I'm just going to lightly feather the cream bronzer on the skin. So, why are we doing this? This just to warm up the skin a bit. Okay. Just to give you a bit more life because now like you're like all one color. Okay. And that looks a little unnatural, so. So basically we put the foundation on to get rid of all the color. Now we're yeah, adding I color back. That. that makes sense. That makes total sense. <laughs> and since we're using a cream, it's just gonna really like melt together beautifully and again make the skin look nice and dewy and hydrated and supple. All of the things. Actually I like it already. Do you? Mm -hmm. It looks so healthy, it looks right? It's very natural. Like, it you, you looks like... Hey, like, you weren't supposed to look in the mirror. It was supposed to be so a grand reveal at the end. No, no, but it looks... It does look so nice. And that's how I like it. Just very natural. Next, I have another cream product. This is a blush here from MAC. This is Lady Blush. I've had this for absolutely ages, but I know that this color is going to look really good with, like, your coloring. It's actually very similar to the top you have on. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to put a little bit of that just in the apples and kind of blend out. Um, you can actually use your fingers with this. So if you're doing this yourself, Ma, you could just kind See, of... See, yeah, but I'm afraid to use a cream blush. I'm afraid I'm going to put a big blob of See, it. I prefer cream blushes way more than powders because they just blend into the skin. Like, it doesn't sit on top like a regular powder would. But then if you make a mistake, is it harder to fix it, though? That would be my worry. Well, just don't make a mistake, Mom. Well, okay. <laughs> you know I'm going to make a mistake. <laughs> I mean, if you had like a sponge like this, I can I can just give you one of these sponges. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't already. Um, <laughs> but you can just take your sponge and just kind and of just like, kind of touch it up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter. Now you kind of got into a highlighter phase for a little while, didn't you? I know you had I, champagne pop, right? I know I do. Ha I have it, but I use it for eyeshadow now, not highlighter. The reason I I'm afraid of this is because when I do it, I put it in the wrong spot, and then it <laughs> brings out my wrinkles. What? No. More. I don't. I can't get the right spot. You just gotta feel for the highest point of your cheeks. And just I know I did that. You told me that, but <laughs> I put it up too high, and all you could see was my wrinkles under my eyes. So see, she like accidentally used it as like an <laughs> under eye setting powder, and it just like really showed yeah, some texture. So I haven't used it. So now I just use champagne pop for my. <laughs> You're like traumatized from uh, that yeah, experience. Yeah, I ruined it. So I'm gonna. I just use it for eyeshadow. See, this one's really nice. It actually doesn't it look like a nail polish. Yeah, but see that. I'm, I'm still. This afraid. one's really subtle. Like, turn your head that way. Which way? Okay. Yeah. Look at that glow, guys. Do a little tilt so the. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look back to camera. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna pop this a little bit on your brow bone. Close your eye. Okay. Inner corner. And Cupid's bow. I'm just gonna blend that all out. And what I think I really like about all these cream products is that you can use your finger. You don't need a brush for them. Whereas powders, 
you kind of do need a different brush for each product. Okay, next is my favorite step of makeup, and I think it's slowly becoming yours too, right? Uh, you know what? I have to say yes. I you was, never did your brows. Never ever like did my brows, ago. and I was totally. I th thought it would look like kind of. You were odd. afraid. I was totally afraid, and I have to say, when I first started, I looked horrible. No, you didn't. That's no, I couldn't do it. I did. I, I did too much, too dark, or I did a line. And you've taught me how to make it look natural. And I think with women my age, especially. Our eyebrows have gotten so thin um, that's something that I think a lot of women my age would like to improve. Mm -hmm. And this is such well, an easy way to do it. A lot of people also like experienced or like try different phases of plucking and making really thin brows right. so they and don't they grow back in. Yes, right? yes. But yours and I've always bad. had I've always had well if you look closely my eyebrows are not even I think one side is over more than the other because you plucked it too much or no just it's just naturally that's the way it is so I really actually have crooked eyebrows but um anyways I'm using the Anastasia brow Wiz, and this is really good for really like drawing in those hairs is that the one that I use yeah this is yours. I like I took this from you <laughs> this is your color that's awesome and it's forgiving if you um, I find with that color, if you don't do it perfectly, it, it looks, mm -hmm. it still looks good. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is actually new. This is the Legendary Muse, and it's gorgeous. I think you'll love these colors. I actually want that, but <laughs> but you won't give it to me. Maybe I'll lend it to you. No, you but won't. You're not you know you this. won't lend it you're to me. You're not taking this. You won't even let me touch it. Um, this color here that I'm using is the Smoke Shade. It's kind of like a pinky. It's actually, again, very similar to the shirt. I find pinks go really nice though with your blue eyes. So close your eye. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna kind of do a wash of this all over the lid. I'm gonna take a little bit of that color and run it under the lash line as well. So eyes up. And just very little. You don't wanna droop the eye down or drag it down. But just kind of pushing it into the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the lighter kind of champagne color and press that right up to the center of the eye. And then this will just kind of create a bit more like roundness to the eye and add a bit more dimension. I'm going to take that color too and just press that over top of the cream highlight that we already did. You love an inner corner highlight, don't you, Mom? I love it because, again, women my age, um, you you feel the darkness in there and when you just put a little bit of lightness in there, it does open up your eyes and it makes you feel younger. This is just a clean fluffy brush. I'm just making sure it all blends out into the crease. I normally don't like to do too much heavy eyeshadow work. Just one or two colors, and I find that's more than enough. Okay, next up, I'm going to take this Marc Jacobs liner. This is in Brown Out. It's like a beautiful brown shade. This is yours, because I got you one, because I got you hooked I on this. I love that. I and love it. What we're going to do is a bit of um, like tight lining on the upper waterline, which Ooh, I know it scares you. Oh, that scares me. But trust me, because as you're saying, like as your eyebrows thin out, your eyelashes do as well, and especially on lighter eyes, tight lining is a really great way to make it appear a bit more full and a bit more defined. So it's basically that upper waterline of your eye. Okay. So you're not going to hurt me? No, I won't. Sure. You look down. I look down? Okay. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Won't it come off though? Mm -hmm. on the it's, inside? This, this is waterproof. Okay. So that already just kind of creates a bit more definition on the upper line. Now close your eye. I'm going to smudge a little bit of this into the lash line as well. You can do this with like a shadow as well. Um, I just find liquid liner or even a black liner can sometimes be too harsh. So I really just like to blend out a brown. Okay, so Jack, when I use this, yeah. I draw a line, which I probably shouldn't above my lash line. Like, not all my eyelashes, but just slightly above it. Is okay. that too harsh to do? No, that's fine. That's what I kind of just did. I just kind of dotted it in. And then at the end, I'm just kind of lifting and kind of like winging it up. Not that it, you can actually see the wing, but just ever so slightly blending it upwards. So yeah, just kind of pressing it messily. It doesn't have to be perfect this step. But I'm really lifting up the eyelid to um, get right into the lash line. Okay, your favorite part. Oh, this one's scary. You're gonna curl it your own. Yeah, but I'm not good at this because I pinch my skin all the time. Do you want me to do it? I think I'd rather have it. Okay, I'll do it. I'm yeah. actually I Some people prefer to do it themselves. I know, but I, I've done it before and I <laughs> pinch my eyelids and it hurts. And okay. it kinda scares Look down me. On my shoulder. Okay. Look down. You're not gonna pinch me, right? No, no I'm gonna intentionally pinch you in the eye. This makes me okay, nervous. Actually okay, down there. Okay. Because I have such short eyelashes. Uh -huh. Does that hurt? Nope, not at all. Thank you. I'm actually sweating right now because I'm nervous. You're nervous? Yes, this brings back memories, bad memories. No, I think everyone can do their own mascara best. So I'm going to get you a mirror. Okay. And you can apply that. Do I have to show what I'm using? Oh, yeah. But t talk about it. That's your favorite. That, do I have the right way? Yeah. This is their real mascara. It's my favorite. Are you being a beauty guru? I don't like yours. You always, what's the one you always say? 
I don't know. I don't really have a favorite mascara. At the this moment. is definitely my favorite. It's been my favorite for probably two years. See, the thing is, it's not waterproof. You don't have that. I know. I wish it was, but other than that, it's mm -hmm. perfect. So Especially for short eyelashes. So just do a coat on the top lashes for now. When you're doing it, pull it kind of outwards, up and outwards. That way, your lashes. Like out this way. Yeah. Yeah. No, that looks huge difference because it actually you can see my eyelashes. It lifts now. it up, right? Yep. I like that. Okay. So ironically, my bottom lashes are longer than my top eyelashes. So I do like, and they're blonde, so you can't see them unless you have something on them. So I do like actually having mascara on them because I think that's probably a nicer feature than my top eyelashes, but... You also don't want it to get too bottom heavy though, right? No, I agree. And you know I what? used to make it clumpy when I was young. You know what I think you might like? Like a brown waterproof mascara, because brown is less harsh, but it'll still define it I, a bit more. But for the top eyelash too? No, no, no. Black for the bottom. Oh, brown okay. for the bottom. I though. like that idea. That's a good idea. I like that. Because yeah, sometimes then because my eyelashes are longer on the bottom, they overpower my top ones if I don't, you know, put on just the right amount. Okay, next up we're going to do your lips, and now you love this lip liner, this is my favorite as well. This is Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury, and you requested today to have a Charlotte lip because you saw my video yesterday. Mm -hmm. I love... Oh, Mom! <gasps> Sorry! Mom! Sorry. Why would you talk? Because with... you were talking to me! It's like at the dentist, you just got to nod okay, and smile. Okay. Oh, no, no, because I wanted okay, to say something about that. Spit I wanted to tell your viewers that you will not share your Charlotte Tilbury lipstick with me, and she has a lot, and not even one. You won't even give me I a gave one. you a lip gloss You gave me a lip today. gloss, you never gave me a lipstick. Well, well, today I'm gonna to try She's, on a lipstick. She doesn't share. I'm, Mom, I was gonna give you Penelope Pink today if you liked it on you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on. I take that back. <laughs> now I know a lot of people also can be scared of lip liner because they don't want to have that harsh, dark lip liner look not filled in. I agree. But I think lip liner is. Okay, because. Oh, sorry. I'm talking. I'm, I'm, now you know where you get Now it. you're taking over my channel. <laughs> Okay, Tracy, okay. no, you do it. You walk okay. us So as a kid, I would see women with lip liner, but then their mm -hmm. lipstick would come off to the day, and then yeah. they just have lip well, liner. Well, it was also a style to have dark lip, like dark lip yeah, liner. And it doesn't look good when it, oh, the no. lipstick wears off. No, it's so not a trend I never, anymore. I never wear lip liner. But it's amazing for really defining the lip, and especially as you get older, your lips get a bit more dehydrated, dried out, and like they're not as full as they used to be. So it's really nice to just kind of redefine that shape. And um, you can just blend it in. So it doesn't look like you have lip liner. It's just lipstick in a smaller, more precise form, right? So. I love lip liner. Lip liner over lipstick any day, to be honest. Now, you requested to try out Penelope Pink, so I think this might be a little too new than what you're used to, because you normally go for, like, pinks. Like, this one is hers. This is the Dior 576 Bed of Roses. You like more of a bright pink on your lips. Um, I do, but I do like when I see you, like, your video you did yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, or that you just posted. Mm -hmm. um, I love that color you had on, but I know it probably wouldn't suit me, but I love that matte natural, but mm -hmm. I tend to go with shiny lip gloss. Yeah, well, I'm gonna put a lip gloss over top of this okay. still. So this one here is Penelope Pink by Charlotte. It's a bit, um, it's actually more of a creamy and moisturizing one. So it'll give you that kind of shine that you're looking for in face makeup, actually. And you really don't need a lot of this. It's very pigmented. Actually, this color looks incredible on you. Is that okay? Yeah, it looks really good, actually. I don't know if I'm feeling the eyebrows. Mom, I'm not done. The eyebrows look really? kind of no. big. Look at them. Um, do you want a gloss over top? Um, uh, I don't think we need I a gloss I always wear today. gloss, so let's not do gloss. Okay. So I'm just going to soften out the head of these brows a little bit so they're not as harsh. But I mean, I still really do like a full brow. You're still taking a second to get used to them, right? Well, okay. I love a full brow on you, but I, is it because you look younger? Like you're younger? Like does a full brow look okay on a mature woman? Full brows normally are like a thing that makes people look more youthful. Um, obviously you don't want to do a full crazy brow if you don't have too many hairs to start. You do kind of want to follow the natural shape. I definitely do them a bit thicker than you normally do, but I honestly don't mind them. I think it don't looks mind. really nice. And I know it's taking you a minute. I'm just, I'm not used to it. I don't, I'm not, I'm not like used to it. Like too dark or too thick? Um, I think too thick, but can I look at See, it again? I think this eyebrow looks really good. This one came out perfect. No, I think, I, I think the eyebrows themselves look really mm -hmm. good, but I think on my head, <laughs> I don't think it looks right. <laughs> like if you look up close, you did do a beautiful job. It's not that you didn't. But I think for me, maybe, I don't know. I'd be curious what Let's people see. think. Yeah, I'm comment down below. Are you feeling the bolder big? brows? I think too big. Maybe. I actually think they look really good, yeah. but I, I want you to be comfortable. I'll tone them down a little bit. I'm just going to kind of, I'm taking a clean kind of shader brush here, and um, I'm just kind of cleaning up the, edge and, the edges and um, making it slightly thinner. I'm definitely getting used to it. Do you want me to tone it down even more? No, no, you... no, 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 no. It's all good. It's okay. Good. I like it. Thank you, my dear. Okay, so that is the look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thanks, Mama, for being on my channel. You're it was welcome. fun. Did you enjoy it? 
Um, I'll be honest with you, I was very nervous at first. Um, it, this is very uncomfortable for me. I do not like mm -hmm. being. Yeah, she does not even like being photographed. No, so no like not at all. That's not my thing. But um, after we started, a little bit, a little bit after we started, I felt more comfortable, and I think I'd be curious to see the footage, how maybe zombie-like I was at the beginning, because I was very uncomfortable, but then after we started talking and getting into it, you forget about the Just camera. Just gals having fun. No, we're having fun together. <laughs> I love doing stuff with oh. you, so I, I actually, I did like it. Well, it thanks, fun. Mom, for being on my channel. Thanks, Let Mom. me know what you guys think of the look down below, and if you want to see my mom more, because maybe I'll make her come in more videos. <laughs> um, anyways, make sure you guys subscribe, because I'm posting videos every single day today. What else should I do? You, uh, you post videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. No, I'm posting videos every, oh, every day. day. Oh, Oh, it's Finn with a Mom! Sorry, I just messed it up. It's no, it's okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Every day. What else should they do? They should like the video. Like the video and subscribe. Subscribe. Follow. Follow Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. <laughs> I'm Jack from Forbes. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye! building. <laughs>